wrap things up with our puzzles. Uh, of course, you guys have been doing them to pass the time. Many of you have at mm -hmm. least. And today's puzzles have no missing pieces. So this is shocking because really, news. I think all this week <laughs> we've had like one missing piece out of every puzzle. So Mary sent us this one. This is a Dr. Shivago puzzle she's had for 40 years. It took all this time for her to actually put it together. So really? Now during the stay at home order, she finally got it put together. So congratulations, Mary. Well, and Judy sent us this picture that her niece Kenzie put together. She's a full time student at Pitt and teaches dance and she finally had time in self quarantine to complete the puzzle. Great job. Yeah, that's cool. I like the round ones. They're different. And then Sally sent us this. She says our 92 year old mom, Mary Jo, did this puzzle sent by her thoughtful niece in New Jersey. And you know what? This makes you think about going back to the beach. Oh, Someday it's going to happen. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. And finally, from Pittsburgh artist and PTL friend, John Oprasic. And it's a puzzle made from his own artwork. The Pittsburgh Penguins handed these out to ticket holders at a game last season. Do you remember when the Penguins played hockey? Like I, I do with, tend to recall that. Yes, there were we, fans. Had, we had a yeah. hockey team. We yes. had a hockey team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and who knows? Maybe one of you or many of you have that puzzle. Yeah. So anyway, thank you Thanks. for sharing the puzzles. That was a lot of fun, and we always love to see what you're up to. And we know we'll probably get many more. So thanks so much for sending them in. All right. We